Hello friends, welcome to this video. In this video, we will see how to create a histogram using the Python library matplotlib. Before checking out this video, you should have some understanding of Python. The link for how to install Python and the matplotlib library along with pandas has been mentioned in the description box. Please check them out. Now let's get started with Power BI. Open the Power BI desktop and we have to click on this Python visual. Once we click on this visual and Python is installed, we'll get an option to enable Python. So we just have to click on enable and Python visual will get enabled for our Power BI. Once it's done, we'll get a Python script editor. So here in the data source, we are using the gross sales from the sales order excel sheet so you can just create any random sales and give it a date it has some item id item location order quantity order status sales budget and forecast but we are going to use just the gross sales so you can create it on, on your own in this python script editor We'll go to our sales order table and drag the cross sales. Once the cross sale has been dragged here, the green color comments which you are seeing, it gets written automatically. So Python creates a data set named data frame for, for the cross sales and it drops the duplicates from the data set. Here, the data set is the keyword which for which the data frame has been created now let's start our script first thing which we do is to import our matplotlib library dot py plot so this will import as an alias of plt the next is to import a pandas library as pd now for creating the histogram we are using the function hist that is h i s t for the plt we are passing the hist function and data set is the x value which we have to pass so this is the mandatory value we have to pass in the rest all parameters are optional so here we have passed the cross sales value which is in our data set the hist type that is histogram type we have kept as bar for defining the bins, we have taken the lower gross sales and the upper gross sales. If we see our data set, it starts at 105023. So we have kept 104000 and it ends at 114982. So we have kept 116000. The color for the histogram we have mentioned, it has red. Now, the other parameters which we have here is the formatting ones. So if you are using a Python visual, if you go to our formatting, we just have a format for the title. We don't have any other formatting options, which is the specific ones for a, a visual, which we normally have for other visuals here. So you have to write that by yourself. So for the X label, we are given the name as sales value, the font size is 25 and the color we have kept it as blue. Uh, then we have inc increased the font size for the X ticks. This is these values and for white ticks are uh, this 0 to 12 this values the font size we have just increased it for y label we have kept the name as frequency the font size is 25 and the color is blue the other thing which we are doing is giving a title for this plot that is the histogram distribution color is green and font size is 35 and finally we have to use this plt.show function to show us this visual if you're using not using this then the visual will not be shown now let's check our data we go to focus mode 
and here we see from 104000 to 106000 we have three values let's check it in our data set yeah we we do have three values here so it's giving us the correct result thank you for watching and please check the description box for other useful video links